Well, I wasn't expecting this. As you can see, I've had to go onto my other account to actually do this, as uh, it wouldn't even display what it was for <laughs> on my main account. But this does bring up the question of how much should you actually bid? Because this is actually a good deal for a tier 10. Now, the way that you should work this out is that, I mean, tier 10s are, you know, 200 to 250. Um, if you look at the British line um, and you're looking at the FE, for example, that's 200k. You're looking at about 500k per, per like, you know, line. 500 to 550. So if you get it for less than 500k, I think that's a pretty good deal. Anywhere between 500 to 550. And considering that there's 20,000 of these, sure, the competitive bid is going up, but not by that much. A lot of people won't have free XP anymore because of the Lion event. That's not to say that nobody has any free XP anymore, but I'm just saying a lot of them won't. And a lot of them will already have the FV215B because it's been on sale before and this is a hell of a lot better than 20 million or 25 million credits. So yeah, bid up to about 500k and that should be okay. I would just keep an eye on this, this competitive bid and then bid slightly below it um, up to about 550k. And just be warned, if you do already have the fe 215 b and you try and sell it to, you know, say you have like loads and loads of free XP, and you think, you know what, I could use with the 3 million credits or 4 million credits or however much tier 10 sell for, um, I'll sell it, get it back because it's cheaper. And then, you know, I've kind of converted that into my free XP into credits. Not that that's a very good idea, but, you know, some people might. Um, this only sells for 1,000. Unlucky.